On November 23rd, Avi Loeb released new calculations about 3i Atlas, and suddenly we were looking at its 13th anomaly. This time, not a flare, not a chemical oddity, but something far stranger, a level of mathematical precision no natural comet should ever achieve. Right now, 3i Atlas is drifting toward Jupiter. NASA says it will pass about 33 million miles from the planet. Loeb calculates Jupiter's hill radius on that same day at 33.24 million miles. A difference so small it shouldn't exist by chance. Statistically, it shouldn't happen unless something more than gravity is guiding the path. Some call it coincidence. Some say it's noise in the data. But if the numbers hold, 3i Atlas might be about to change the way we understand anything that drifts in from the darkness between stars. For months, astronomers have been watching 3i Atlas drift through the void, feeding every new sliver of data into NASA's JPL system. More than 230 observatories, from ground stations to space telescopes, have tracked this object as it crossed the solar system like a quiet shadow. And with each new update, its path became sharper, cleaner, harder to dismiss as random motion. Because as 3i Atlas heads toward Jupiter, something strange emerges. Its trajectory lines up almost perfectly with a boundary that no object should accidentally approach, Jupiter's hill radius. This invisible line marks the exact distance where Jupiter's gravity loses the fight against the Sun. Inside it, the planet can capture something. Outside it, everything is pulled away. It's a boundary defined by pure physics mass, distance, orbital velocity. And on March 16th, it will sit at roughly 33.24 million miles. And that's where the problem begins. According to the current data, 3i Atlas will pass at 33.21 million miles. A separation so small that even NASA's margin of error still puts the object impossibly close to that limit. 35,000 miles of difference out of 33 million. In astronomy, that level of accuracy doesn't happen by accident. Not with natural objects, not with ice and dust tumbling through gravity's pull. It's the kind of alignment you'd expect if something were aiming for a very specific point in space, or if we're missing something fundamental about the forces acting on this interstellar visitor. But the truth gets even stranger when we look at what pushed 3i Atlas into this path. And that's where the next anomaly appears. If the near-perfect alignment with Jupiter's hill radius already felt unlikely, what comes next complicates the picture even more. Because 3i Atlas hasn't been moving solely under the pull of gravity. Something has been giving it a gentle, persistent nudge. Astronomers detected a non-gravitational acceleration, the kind of subtle deviation that usually points to outgassing, when pockets of ice warm up and release jets of vapor. It's a known behavior in comets, but what we're seeing here doesn't match the messy, unpredictable nature of those jets. Natural outgassing tends to scatter an object's trajectory in ways that feel chaotic, depending on how it rotates, how sunlight hits each surface, and how the internal structure fractures over time. But the measurements tell a different story. This invisible push shifted 3i Atlas's path by roughly 62,000 miles, and that adjustment placed it almost perfectly on course for the edge of Jupiter's hill radius. Not vaguely in that direction, but aligned with a precision that doesn't fit the behavior of a natural comet. Some researchers argue it's still within the bounds of coincidence. Others suggest we may be missing a gravitational influence or misinterpreting the data. And then there's Avi Loeb, who points out that this level of accuracy would be difficult to achieve even with controlled propulsion, raising questions that most scientists prefer to approach cautiously. The difficulty is that none of the usual signs of technology are present. There are no radio emissions, no unusual heat signatures, no visible jets beyond what you would expect in a normal comet. All we have is a trajectory that feels too deliberate and an acceleration that seems to guide it into a narrow corridor of space. It's a strange position to be in, caught between a natural explanation that feels too clean and a technological explanation that lacks evidence. And while the debate continues, the destination that 3i Atlas is moving toward raises even more questions than the acceleration 
that pushed it there. As the trajectory of 3i Atlas tightens and the data becomes harder to dismiss, the true strangeness of its path emerges in the place it seems to be heading, because right at the edge of Jupiter's hill radius, exactly where its gravity begins to lose its hold, there are a handful of regions that behave in ways almost no other places in the solar system do. These are the Lagrange points, pockets of gravitational balance where an object can drift with very little energy needed to stay in place. Space agencies use these points all the time. The James Webb Space Telescope sits at one. Several satellites hold position at others. They're the closest thing space has to a calm harbor, a place where forces cancel out just enough to create stability. And as strange as it sounds, 3i Atlas is on a path that brings it right toward the distance where those points begin to matter. The idea of a natural object arriving there by chance isn't impossible, but it's extremely unlikely for a comet to end up grazing the boundary where Lagrange points form after being nudged by a non-gravitational acceleration of just the right magnitude feels almost too clean to belong to random motion. Everything about it suggests a trajectory shaped by influences we don't fully understand. Scientists have been cautious. Some emphasize that coincidences happen. Others say outgassing might have lined up just right, even though it rarely behaves with that kind of consistency and a few admit that the math is puzzling, but prefer to wait for more data rather than lean into speculation. Avi Loeb, as usual, takes the conversation a step further. He notes that if there were ever a place to release instruments, perform a gravitational maneuver, or let an object drift with minimal fuel consumption, the edge of a giant planet's hill radius would be an ideal target. Not because it proves intention, but because it highlights how unusual the alignment appears compared to what nature typically produces. None of this means 3i Atlas is artificial, but every week, the pattern grows harder to explain with the tools we're used to. An interstellar visitor approaching one of the most delicate gravitational structures in the solar system, guided by a subtle push, we can't fully account for carrying a level of precision that feels out of place for ice and dust drifting through the void. As it gets closer, the silence around the unanswered questions becomes part of the mystery itself. The sense that something important is right there, just beyond what the data can clearly reveal. As 3i Atlas continues its slow drift toward Jupiter, what lingers isn't just the data, it's the weight of everything we still don't understand an interstellar object arriving with mathematical precision that shouldn't belong to a natural comet. A subtle push shaping its path in ways our models struggle to explain, and a destination that aligns with one of the most delicate gravitational structures in the solar system. Maybe it's coincidence, the kind that happens only once in tens of thousands of encounters. Maybe it's comet physics behaving in a way we've never seen before, revealing cracks in our assumptions. Or maybe we're looking at something that challenges how we think objects travel through the darkness between stars. Whatever the answer turns out to be, moments like this remind us how small we are inside the cosmic drift, how much silence surrounds the little we manage to learn, and how every new visitor reshapes the outline of what we believe is possible. E se você quiser continuar explorando esses espaços onde a ciência encontra o mistério, onde as perguntas são maiores que as respostas e onde o silêncio às vezes diz mais do que qualquer transmissão oficial, então fique por perto. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like so this story reaches others listening for the same faint signals. And if you feel like stepping even deeper into these quiet frontiers, Consider becoming a member. There's still so much waiting in the darkness and we're just getting started.